Hey everyone, welcome to the demo scene for the Flying Eye, low poly character. Um, as you can see, we're sitting here in the dungeon package from Cinti Studios. Looks great in this pack. Um, let's go ahead and check out what this character can do. We've got some options with the textures here just to kind of move those around. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see that more. Uh, I've separated them to two materials, one for the eye here and one for the tentacles, so you can kind of make different versions there. You can also adjust the saturation and the values, the lightness basically of these. So you can make a darker eye if you want. It's a you know, dark evil looking eye like that or something like that. So there's a, a good amount of stuff you can do with just moving these around and uh, getting different looks. You also have the ability to randomize things. I'm just going to set these back to about where they were in the middle. About one value give or take. Uh, and then Set those back too, and then you can do a randomize where you just uh, random. Oh, well, um, you can turn off the the tendrils too, so that's something. Let me step back there. You can turn off the tendrils, and we also have the blend shapes. Um, in this case, we have size differences on the tendrils here, the bulb on the back, and the eyeball itself. I'm just recalling the random script, so you can kind of see some randomness if you call that when a character is loaded. You can get some different variations. You can also do the super randomized. Now this one's changing both the blend shapes and the colors plus whether or not the tendrils are active. Um, so otherwise you can just see it like this where just the colors and the blend shapes are being randomized. So you can do a lot with that just to get a whole bunch of different looks out of the creature. Um, then we got the animations. This is the idle animation. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here. This is the idle animation, and we also have an alert idle, and so this is the animation where he goes into the alert, and now he's moving forward as well. Um, we have a walk backwards like this, and if we're not at the alert level, the walk backwards the same, but the forward walk is different. Of course, you can like kind of blend between the two of those if you so choose. Uh, we also have this idle break, this is for when he's not alert. Let's see that again. Motion. Got a couple attacks. This one where he kind of flips forward, and the attacks come from the alert level, assuming that he's going to be in the alert state. So you can see that again. Smacks down in this one where he bashes forward. And this one is a looped middle, so the start and end are not loops, but the middle is, so you can kind of do that and aim it wherever he ends up aiming. We also have our cast one, which is Kind of like a beam coming out of his eye, maybe, or something like that. It's a loop as well. Cast 2 is a single one, kind of a pulse, and then a stronger push out. His dodge, where he just quickly dodges back. Let's show that again. And then we got his got hit animation. Reacts to getting hit. Quick turn left and right is where he just quickly turns and also smacks. So this could be an attack as well, depending on how you play it and you could call two of them uh, back to back and make it an attack like that too. It is taunt. Really it's taunt but it could also be a, uh, a magic spell. There's some movement forward there. But I'm sure you can figure something out if you want to use that and repurpose it a little bit. And of course the death animation for when the flying eye has finally been destroyed. 